What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. We are keeping with the keto theme. We got a recipe here for you. Let me tell you guys something about keto recipes. Little did I know coming into this diet, you start looking up recipes, man. They are some of the craziest, most exotic ingredients ever. One we looked at earlier was like beef gelatin. Never even heard of that. I don't think my store has it. So my goal with this video is to make a recipe that like everybody could do. It requires four ingredients, super simple. Can switch up your breakfast if you are currently eating bacon and eggs or something else along those lines. Tastes amazing. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So if you're ready, per usual, to get this started off, we're gonna cue the classic intro, which we got a ton of comments about on the last one. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know down below. But uh, enough talking, let's get this started. Let's do it! And I wasn't playing with you guys. These ingredients are easy. When I seen this recipe, I was like, yep, this is the one we're doing because I don't even gotta go shopping for this one. So what we got, first thing you're gonna need is some cream cheese. We're doing the full fat version because this is keto, so we want all that fat and all those macros. Every other recipe I've ever done has like reduced fat or no fat cream cheese, which we're gonna need about four ounces of this. We also are gonna be using some grass-fed butter. I decided to go with the grass-fed version after the last video. I got some flack for the processed cheese, which by the way, if you haven't watched the keto shredding diet video, I will link it in the description box Below. Check it out, full meal plan. You guys will love it. So we got grass-fed butter. We will need two tablespoons of this. I think that adds up to like 28 grams. Description box below will have all this information for you lovely people. And then, you know me, I love myself some eggs. We're gonna need four of them bad boys. Four large eggs for this to help make our batter. And then last, but most certainly not least, you need a vanilla protein powder. Technically, any protein powder can work if you don't mind having a little bit of that flavor mixed in with your pancakes. But what we got here is New Breed Mild Blast Vanilla Flavored. Now, I will say right now, this protein in particular has about three grams of carbs per scoop. Not make or break for this recipe, but if you're trying to be as low carb as possible, something like a zero carb protein might be a better choice, but this might also add a little extra flavor. So, you know, choose your poison in that regard. So, let's go ahead, get this started. So, first step in making these is to weigh out your cream cheese and your butter, which I did here. So, we got four ounces of this, which is about 112 grams. We also have our 28 grams of butter. And the next step is gonna be taking these and cutting them into small pieces because we gotta put them in this bowl, microwave it for about 30 seconds, that way it kind of uh, loosens it up. Is that the right term? Yeah, sure. Makes it more mixable. We're gonna go with that so we can add in the other ingredients. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now it needs about 30 seconds in the microwave for softening purposes. Ah. And after 30 seconds in the microwave, you can see it's definitely softened up a little bit, but we gotta go ahead and whisk it all together. So I'm using one of these things. I don't even really know. Is this like an ele electrical whisk? I've literally only used this like three times in my life and each one's been for a recipe video. So let's get to whisking. <laughs> You got any stains on me from that? I think it worked out good. Like I said, third time using that, but I'm already a pro, man. That's how quick I'm learning here. So what we got, this is obviously all uh, mixed up now. Key is though, we still gotta do this a couple more times. So I gotta take my eggs, add them in, all four of them, we're just gonna crack them, yolk and all, throw them right in here, and then more blending. Let's go. And this is what it should look like at this point. Pretty watery, pretty runny, not ideal yet. What we're gonna do is add our scoop of protein right into this and whisk it and blend it one more time and that should thicken it up and make it perfect for the batter we need for these pancakes. So, final step, let's roll. So at this point, this should look just like pancake batter originally. So if you've cooked pancakes before from here on, you are golden. I've always been terrible at this. So I'm really hoping as we do this, we are good. I'm gonna like show you my process. Hopefully we don't mess this up. From here on out, it's just like making regular pancakes. So you need a pan, a little bit of cooking spray, a little bit of patience, and don't let it burn. Don't let it burn. Let's go. Pancakes 
pancakes are done, that recipe yielded about 13 of them. And take a look at that. If someone served that to you at a restaurant, would you be able to tell a difference between this and regular pancakes? That's my favorite thing about certain recipes is that like, you wouldn't really know. You'd be none the wiser if no one told you, but we're not done yet. We got two things to add. We got Walden Farm syrup. This is the only syrup you should be using on keto. Every other type of syrup's gonna have tons of sugar. This stuff is a godsend. Tastes just like syrup. No calories, no carbs, no nothing. And obviously you gotta put a little bit of butter on top. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna break down exactly what the macros are for this. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Let's go. Finished product. Man, I bet you so many people clicked on this just because of how good that looked in the thumbnail. Oh, for sure. For sure. Each of these pancakes, I'm gonna break down the macros. So obviously that initial little ingredient mix up, it's a lot of calories, like a thousand calories, that entire batter. But I don't assume most people are gonna eat an entire stack of these every day. So we had 13 pancakes in total. Each pancake had 6.5 grams of fat, one gram of carb and 4.5 grams of protein. Each one is about 75 calories. So. Not too bad, whip up a few of these for breakfast. Think you're good to go. So now it's time to do a taste test. We'll see if these live up to the hype, but worth eating. Let's go. Moment of truth. That is great. Holy cow. Shout out to the Keto Connect YouTube channel because that's where I found this recipe. And uh, they weren't lying. This is slapping. We might have a new breakfast on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Give this a try and comment down below what you think of it. Because this, uh, this is this is really good, actually. I don't know if I'd notice a difference if I got served this at a restaurant and it wasn't like regular pancakes. No carbs, protein, I can dig it. Double seal, baby. And that is how you make keto pancakes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it is imperative to smash that thumbs up button. The love lately, the amount of likes I get when a video first drops where people even watch it is insane and the comments are incredible too. So I always appreciate the support. If you are not following me on social media, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, and that's Twitter. Links are in my description box. I actually found out about this recipe because someone DM'd me on Instagram and I do little like sneak peek things. So I like, post it to my story that we're making pancakes. Kind of gives you like a, uh, behind the scenes look. So that is uh, basically it. Thank you guys for all the support as always. If you guys are looking to lose weight, get on a meal plan, anything like that, my website is right down here. You're probably already seen it, RemingtonJamesFitness.com. It is summertime. I have so many clients, it's unreal. But once again, follow me on Instagram. You get to see some of the before and after transformations and everything. Like I always say, all progress is a result of the amount of work you put in and the mindset you have. If you believe you can do it, then you can do it. If you don't believe you can do it, then you probably can't do it. Get your mind right, get your grind right, and you are set. So we are out of here. Thank you guys as always for watching and, and don't forget to smile, remain positive and pay someone a comment because you never know whose day you can make it better with that. We are out here, this has been Herbert James Production. I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys. Kill I've me. hit my head on that thing so many times <laughs> filming this. We need, to, we need to fix that. Yeah, we do, we do. Like, like, why would you put that that I don't know. head level? I don't know. It makes no sense. Oh. <laughs>